this is day four of the Giselle Grenier challenge to post three pieces of my artwork on my Facebook timeline and select another artist to do the same thing. So I like to chat a bit about what I'm showing you with my video. So I thought I would show you these. These are two tags that I made with weld bond glue and items that I just embedded in a big layer of glue. That's all this background is, is this weld bond glue. I believe what I did is I took a piece of waxed paper and put the glue on the wax paper, put a tag underneath of the the wax paper so that I knew where to draw my glue. And I do believe that I cut when the glue was fairly pliable and I could still cut it without damaging it. I did cut it into the shape of a tag. This one turned out really nice. I It's not completely transparent, but you can still see my hand. You can still see my hand, especially in the thinner spots like over here. You can still see my hand through it. So I was experimenting. I have a little piece of needlework. I actually did that needlework came from my one and only trip to Europe <laughs> in 1998. Don't ask me what shop that I bought it in, but I bought this little needlework kit and I worked it up and I put it in the back. Here's the back of that tag. And I have this Broken Jewelry Cameo. I don't know how much you can see of it, but right here I embedded that and of course a pair of scissors. These were just cheap ones that I either got at a drugstore or picked it up at a flea market or something. A key and a needlework bobbin. It's kind of interesting that the bobbin rusted on the back. Kind of like that effect. Now the glue on here is fairly thick and it's fairly firm. On this one, the glue is thin. It's just a thin layer and it is brittle and it's beginning to break back here. I could probably put another layer of glue on the back here to keep it. I also have some safety pins and needles, a DMC thread wrapper, a little broken jewelry charm in there. It has some, it's transparent in itself. It's got some little wheat and dried flowers in there. A silk flower, a paper clip, some beads, a chain, a safety pin. This looks like an earring or a button. I think that was a button. And this was off of a keychain here and a little piece of thread up there. Then I threw some little confetti pieces around there. A little piece of chipboard, a little piece of embroidery flower. But it is brittle. It does have a hole up here and it is in the shape of a tag, but it is starting to break right over here. But I keep it anyway. I was experimenting because I wanted to know, I wanted to know how this glue would embed, would hold the items, little junky items that were glued down in it without being with just glue. It's not on paper or anything. So I think my answer is to use a real thick layer. And then these items are fairly heavy and I, it turned out pretty good. This I could probably put on the back of a piece of acetate or even some sort of, but I like the transparency. Look at that thin layer, you can really see through it. So I like the transparency of it. So that's my first number one piece of art to show you today. This is day four. Then, I was in an art group a couple years ago, 2010, 11, 2008 or 9. I don't know. We did these ambulated paper dolls off of a pattern where you just put the little brad in there. And I made, I made mine out of different things. These are the ones I kept. This one was made out of a Pepper Ridge Cracker Box. 
It's got Pepperidge Farm there across her waist, her banner, and a little ribbon tie. And I don't know what, that must have been a soup with a tomato there, but I thought that was kind of cute. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, here's her, her leggings, the, the crackers, and she's got a red sock here and a white one there. And then for her crown, I got a cracker up there that I cut in the shape of a butterfly. That might have been the shape of the cracker. I don't know. I don't remember. Got a little jewelry bracelet hanging off of her arm. And over here, I have a piece of thread. I thought I had a scissors hanging. I guess I have the scissors hanging off of this one. I have the scissors hanging off of this gal. And she's got a glove on. This was made out of a old postcard. And on the one that I sent, what I really liked was on the back pocket, it had a postage stamp there. This just has the place for the postage stamp. But it came out really nice on the one that I sent in the swap. Here's another piece of broken jewelry that I made. And her leggings are just made out of a piece of magazine paper. <laughs> but I thought they're cute because they got little stars on them. And she's got a pink glove there. And and uh, it's got a feather feathers in her hair and earrings so that was my keepers from a long ago swap for ambulated paper dolls so that's number two that I want to show you and then number three number three is going to be several pieces for my needlework friends who knew me from long ago years knew that I did these little mini stars and then I'm, you're not going to be able to see them because they're only about an inch. Now these are these are my originals. <laughs> I would design one and then I would stitch it up and then I would design another one. Made a little sampler here on on this is called um, Ada or Aida cloth for this. And I've got a snowman. I've got a little girl with a heart. I did this off of the the months for January was a snowman. And the little gal with a heart was February for Valentine's. Got a little leprechaun. A little Easter basket. Little groom bride groom for June and the bride for July. These were really popular, the bride and groom ones. Let's see, January, February, March, April. Oh, I guess it was May and June. I'm sorry. May and June. July, of course, was the American flag. August was a sailboat. September was a schoolhouse blackboard. I'm not sure how much you're seeing of these. October was a scarecrow. November was a turkey. Kind of hard to see a turkey in there, but he's in there. And... Of course, December was a Santa Claus, which is kind of hard to see too. But they're they make a they make a nice little sampler, and of course that wasn't the only ones. Those weren't the only ones that I did. I did some others. I get here's the little baby one that I did right here, a little baby in a baby diaper. This one was really popular out there at that time. A little cowboy, a bat. I'm not sure what this one was. I think I was just playing around with it. Um, little granny. Right here. Little ghost. Says boo on it. Little pumpkin. Little girl with the Goldilocks there. And a little boy. And a. I think that was a cowboy there. Another cowboy. I have two cowboys. I'm not sure what that was supposed to be. <laughs> I'd have to go look at a little star, of course, a little happy face star. So there's some more mini stars. And then I have, yeah, I have some more. These I was I'm really playing around with them. This was the uh, 4th of July one, I believe, with all the fireworks and a lady in red with her drink there and this was a red, white, and I mean a red and green one. It must have been a Christmas one. I was doing the Mrs. Santa, I think. Here's that cowboy. I think that's a sheriff right here. I think he's a sheriff. And a schoolhouse and an Indian right here. It's an Indian. This little guy, Beach Bum, having his drink. 
and a kitty cat, mini stars, and a bat again. I think this one was supposed to be a mermaid. And Rudolph and Father Time right here. So there's some more mini stars. And I have I have some more to show you. I was into the mini star phase. Uh, of New York City. This one, of course, was done at 9-11. This is commemorating New York City, the Twin Towers there. Only I don't think I really showed them as the Twin Towers. I just was showing tall buildings. Um, and then I have... These are all my mini stars. I have Adam. And, of course, behind Adam... Is Eve. So I have Adam and Eve mini stars. And then I have a, a sampler. A lib free mini star sampler. I should frame these up. I've had them sitting in my needlework drawer. <laughs> so this was all patriotic. There's Uncle Sam here. And there's a flag. Lady Liberty. And the flag down here and the eagle there. July 1999 when I did that one. So there's some more mini stars. How am I going to do this? Like this, I think. Put these back over here and these here. There. So, I'm going to call all my mini stars number three <laughs> for today. My show and tell for the day for the art piece. So you can see, these were done in between, well, 1999. I'm sure that I did some of these in, in 1998, probably 1997. And then, of course, clear through to 2001, I was still doing them. So, that's number one. And for day two, or not day two, number two was my ambulated dolls. And for number one was my, I call these my well bond blue tags. <laughs> Experimenting. I was in my mad scientist phase here. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow with some more. It'll be my last day. This is day four. I'll be back with day five tomorrow.